One of our local mermaids had a boy and she named it Wap. And Wap had this insatiable appetite. For the difficult time coming. But how much difficult, how much present, I don't know. But the difficult time coming for people. The big barrier to protecting our future is a philosophical one. What we see today is a very scarred ecosystem. There's been a big open wound that hasn't really healed very well. The sea is beautiful, but it's gonna be a very, very risky as well if you are not ready to face the bad weather. We are still a small portion of humanity trying to fight for our own environment, which we are part of. Scientific studies recommend that we should protect a third of the ocean, 30%, by 2030. We absolutely need, in a very desperate way, to protect more areas, to have more marine protected areas and sanctuaries in the different seas and oceans of the world. We need to protect the whole Philippines and if possible the whole planet. There's plenty of reason for hope in the face of what seems to be a lot of despair. People have said that those of us in the conservation community are much better at the I have a nightmare speech than the I have a dream speech. And we need to get better at the I have a dream speech. We're now at the point where we have to have these victories in conservation to say what we did had a positive outcome. I really want to say paradise is without man. Like if we are not there and let nature just take its course and let animals of all species just live and not being consumed by our insatiable greed, I think paradise happens. I think paradise is already there. Thank you.